Hello, my friends. Glad to be with you again. And uh, frequently, well, not frequently, occasionally, a student will come up and share that, um, my goodness, they took a course recently and they were less than satisfied with the course, okay? What does this mean? I want to share with you now, all in one minute or two minutes, um, how to choose a good teacher. It's a very simple formula. I'm certainly not saying that I'm a good teacher. That's not my point. The point is to save time and money. Time is what life is made of, and we're all working very strong for our money. So how do we choose a good teacher? Well, you see the flyer circulating, and of course, you call up the teacher and you speak with them. And of course, the teacher is going to go off on, you know, all of their credentials and their qualifications and how great they are. We need to be a little careful there because frequently the rule, more than the exception, is that uh, we have um, uh, ivory tower, so to speak, people uh, who are really not ivory tower. Okay, uh, PhDs who are not PhDs, doctors who are not doctors, and uh, actually it may really be the rule more than the exception. So. How do we deal with that? Speak with the teacher, let him know, oh my goodness or her, that you're giving a course in the area, well, I'm very excited. And then here is the kicker. Here's the key, my friends. You ask the teacher for two or three phone numbers from the students from their last course. And you call up the students. And that way you get your litmus test on whether you're investing your time and your money in the right place. Okay, simple formula, speak with the teacher, speak with the presenter, and then ask for the information from two or three students from the last course. Thank you, my friends. I hope this saves you some money and some time. Uh, we do have a situation where, being that yoga is fairly new, massage is fairly new, what to speak of all the other healing arts, and we have people who are inspired. God has blessed them, however, are they qualified to teach? You need to do your research. Thank you very much, my friends. I will see you soon.